Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ida. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. So I just wanted to do a vlog for you guys because it's been a while and I missed you guys so much. I'm actually just sitting at my uh, work office, I guess you can call it, my work desk. Don't mind the mess or anything like that, but it's kind of like a vanity slash like my work desk kind of thing. And I'm just kind of facing the outside view and I have to definitely clean up right now. Omar just went to the grocery store right now to pick up some groceries. We're gonna cook tonight. And, um, well, he's gonna cook tonight. He's gonna make his famous plant-based lasagna. So you guys definitely have to stick around at the end of the vlog. I'm gonna share with you guys like how he does it and I'm gonna put the recipe for you guys in the description box below, but it's amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so looking forward to it. I just finished my work. For those that don't know, I have a full-time accounting job. So I work like Monday to Friday. Don't mind like the really dirty computer screen. That's really embarrassing. And the dirty mirror and just the clutter and everything. <laughs> usually my place is messy if I'm like busy working kind of thing. And I'll usually just like clean up later. So right now I'm actually about to record a YouTube video. Um, so right now I'm just, I think my hair is ready to go though. I just am, ooh, it is laid. Okay, great. So I'm just doing, um, a headband tutorial for this one amazing beautiful kinky uh, headband wig and I'm actually doing a giveaway on that as well so anyways I'm done work right now so that is good to go um, so yeah so I don't know what I've been I feel like you guys like I really I really feel like the days have been going by so fast like I don't know if you guys have been experiencing the same thing anyways I'm gonna go record this video uh, these headband wigs you guys you guys have no idea How convenient they've been in my zoom meetings you guys like when I have to look good just throw it on and I haven't even been doing my edges either I've been putting the headband all the way on my forehead if it's just one of those type of days You know where it's like you don't even have time to do your edges So that's what I love about them And so this one looks like it's gonna be my favorite because it's a really kinky coily texture and it's very similar to my natural hair and I think I'm gonna do a get ready with me and talk about some things um, because I think you guys like those videos more. Okay, so I'm back and I just finished recording this beautiful headband curly kinky wig from Her Given Hair. And I am doing a giveaway as well for this hair. So definitely stay tuned for the video. It's going to be the one after this one. Um, and it's going to be a super easy giveaway for my YouTube supporters. Um, but anyways, I love how beautiful it looks. I'm super, super happy with how natural it looks. And I finally finished cleaning Omar came back and he got me these beautiful flowers. So I just filled up the vase right there. Uh, I want to quickly share with you guys this beautiful, beautiful jewelry um, from Julia. I was actually gifted this beautiful ring. They sell such beautiful, high quality, like unique pieces. And for those of you guys can tell, a lot of times I actually don't really wear jewelry. But however, I love to wear like classic, very unique, high quality pieces. Here's a close-up shot of the ring and it's so gorgeous you guys. I love the pear shape and I love that it's a ring set so it has like another band that is separate to the actual ring like that. And so you can wear it with and without of course. And I love the color, it's so unique, you know? This is actually called the Julia Halo Milgrain Pear Cut Sterling Silver Ring Set. And it's actually very affordable. This would be such a great gift to get one of your loved ones, a friend, a significant other, whoever you would like. It's very affordable, like I said, very unique quality pieces and very like rare pieces that you just don't kind of come along. Definitely go ahead and check out their website when you get a chance. They are having a sale as well. So if you guys use my coupon code, um, it's 15% off or 20% off depending on what you purchase and how much you purchase. So all those details are going to be in the, in the description box below. So go ahead and check them out. And so now I am going to check out what my husband is doing in the kitchen and share with you guys how he makes his lasagna. And then we're going to go ahead and just sit and talk with you guys um, about about a marriage topic. So, see you guys in a bit. This is my husband, Omar. 
What's up, y'all? <laughs> and he's making his amazing lasagna recipe. Oh my gosh, like we get so excited when he makes this because it is actually probably the best meal we've ever had. Yeah, it has. Yeah. <laughs> and we've been eating a lot, so this goes to show how good it is. So, mm -hmm. so basically, um, let's just talk about what you're doing. So yeah, he's sure. basically layering it up right now. So what part Sorry. is this part? Uh, so this is just like the, the base of the lasagna. I'm just putting on a little bit of oil, a little mm -hmm. bit of olive oil at the bottom just to uh, grease it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then I'm putting all the ingredients that I put in here. This is all vegan. Mm -hmm. uh, I put uh, vegan meatballs. Uh, I have, uh, so I chopped it up in little pieces. I put garlic, I put ginger, I put tomato sauce from the crushed ones. Uh, I put spinach. Well, I'm going to put spinach now. Mm -hmm. I put mint. I put... Uh, I put a whole bunch of different things in here, like all types of different vegetables, but to make it taste like a real lasagna. Mm -hmm. So I had to put a lot of spices inside and I made cheeses, a ricotta cheese, which we're gonna put the recipe and everything mm -hmm. inside of the description box for everybody to see. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the ricotta is my favorite part. He makes it mm -hmm. out of cashews. Like he basically, you can either soak it or boil it. Mm -hmm. um, and then he puts in some other things in there and then uh, puts it in the blender. But yeah, we'll put in more details in the description box. But mm -hmm. Oh, this is my favorite part. I love when he like puts an extra. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? Every part. Really? <laughs> Every part. Every part. Uh, like I, I think the best part about this is it actually tastes like better than real lasagna. Right? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna say. This is one of my favorite brands. Oh yeah, from is it Dea? Is yeah, it I, think, Dea? I think that's how it's pronounced. Or Dea. Yeah. yeah, it actually. T I'm surprised because I actually don't like to do like fake cheeses and stuff like that. This is the wow. But wow, this is really really good. So the pasta sauce and then the cheeses and then the spinach and basil and then the pasta. Exactly. And everybody, just know I wash my hands before I'm touching <laughs> the pasta. Just to let it be known. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Health as well. Health as well, all the time. And the meatballs, you guys. This is my first time also eating like plant-based meatballs, and I was pleasantly surprised. Like it, mm -hmm. it doesn't like. It really does. It's weird. It doesn't really taste like meat, but it does. You know what, what I mean? Because like I don't miss eating meat. I don't even like the taste of it anymore. Yeah, so I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about these meatballs. Thanks to you, because you helped me become a vegan. I, that is the only reason I became a vegan in the first place. And, like it was the best decision I ever made in my entire life. Aw, thank you, babe. You're welcome. But you know what's crazy? Thanks to you. I've been trying out, like I've been eating the best I've ever eaten in my entire life. Likewise, baby, likewise. So we're gonna put it in the oven for about like 25 minutes, right? Yeah, 25 minutes on 450. Okay. And then uh, as soon as it's finished, we take it out mm -hmm. and we let it cool. No, we don't let it cool. No, we don't have oh, time for that. Oh, it's, oh, so oh, oh, it's too good. Oh. <laughs> So this is the next day uh, we didn't get to finish filming the rest of that night because after the food was out we were so hungry so tired and we just didn't feel like vlogging so this is the next day I actually just finished recording a Facebook live video for curl mix so if you guys want to check that out um, it is going to be in um, I think it's gonna be out on yeah February 24th at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time so it is for curl mix and this is what my hair is looking like so far. It is wet, so I'm waiting for the gel to dry. I'm gonna air dry for a bit and then go on with the diffuser. So I am in my washroom. I just wanna quickly show you guys the setup that I just basically had. I don't know if you guys can kind of see it because yeah, the ring light is there. So my bathroom is a little dirty right now, so don't mind that. But this is what the setup was like. And basically I want to show you guys the products right here so they have like a wash and go four step system um, and they have different types so and also to just let you guys know if you guys want to win a free wash and go set from curl mix definitely check out the uh, Facebook live Omar actually came across like a whole bunch of like reviews and stuff like that that he got from his students when he was uh, teaching at uh, Canva 
Show the people all your hard work that you put up there. <laughs> you know, uh, I have people saying, like uh, this one right here. <laughs> uh, Omar enjoyed the, they enjoyed the class leaving uh, with different coping skills and, and skills in managing money, uh, management skills and how to invest money into the future, uh, what schools they can learn for from business classes, uh, I tried, you know, they said uh, I covered all the topics presented to finances and they basically said really wonderful things about me here, mm -hmm. but they said I needed to bring food and snacks for the class. Oh so that should tell gosh. you something when people want to stay in a class for three hours. Exactly. They just want food and snacks because it was a fun time. We made sure everybody mm -hmm. had a good time. Mm -hmm. But you definitely have to start bringing in foods and snacks. <laughs> the comments that these students left for you. Yeah. Give Omar a raise. Every single topic addressed. The only way I did this was from being as genuine as possible. Mm -hmm. so uh, when I had like a, like a YouTube community board, I know it's one of your guys' questions as well, like things that I've learned through marriage. Uh, so we are still newlyweds, so we are gonna do an updated video, but mm. we have definitely learned a lot, especially because we've been, you know, in quarantine <laughs> together, so spending mm. much more time um, together. But we decided to do something kind of like different, unique. We have 10 lessons that we've learned um, through marriage and I'm gonna do five of my own and he's gonna do five of his own and we'll combine it together in this part of the video one thing that I learned in life and in our marriage is to dedicate all of your time in order to become the best version of yourself as a spouse as well as becoming the best version of yourself as an individual because here's why if you're not able to really see the priority in having uh, in treating your spouse with the right amount of respect and the right amount of time, what will end up happening is the individual side of you that you think is the individual side, it will definitely get affected in so many different ways. So what I would advise everyone to do is really take your time to spend time with the person that you married, the person that you, you really want to be with, take them seriously and get to know that person because the more that you get to know that person, the more that you guys mesh and then you begin to see a lot more within yourself. So when you take that seriously, you realize that everything else outside will actually change for the better. And God really blesses those that really takes what they have in their house seriously. Because mm -hmm. when you don't, then he has to take it away and then kind of punish you so you can get to know that you should take what you are getting and appreciate it with the most uh, thanks. Mm -hmm. So that's that's one thing that I've learned so far. What about you? Babe? So I have the five that is in my phone. Um, Omar memorized his. So okay. So the first thing I learned was happy spouse, happy house. Mm. And when I first came into this marriage, I really thought it was happy wife, happy life. And you know that's kind of what I feel like a lot of us were taught. And um, at that moment, it didn't make sense to me because I felt like okay, if if we're happy then you know our spouse is going to be happy because when we're happy you know we'll make our spouse happy but um over time i learned that it's 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 kind of it's just not fair it's it's a marriage is like a team like it's a teamwork you know team effort right so with that uh happy wife happy life it's like okay i have to you have to make me happy first and then i'm gonna make you happy like what i've learned is the best way to keep a happy home and you know happy couple is you guys both make that mutual effort to make each other happy not one person is above the other we're we're both in the same um playing field we're both equally yoked and we both have to treat each other with respect, with love, and put in, and like Omar said, like we gotta put in that effort Absolutely. for ourselves and for each other. So when we both make each other happy, the house is happy, and it works amazingly because you're telling your partner you're just as equally as important as um, I am in this relationship, and together we're a team, and we're both going to make the effort to make each other happy. Me personally, my second one, what would I have to say? It would have to be have nothing to prove. Uh, so me personally, like, I've learned over time that I have nothing to prove and I think it's the best thing to have that type of mindset because the more ego that you have or the more ego that you attach to your decision making, the more problems are going to come out. So I personally, I try to let, leave my ego by the door. I could do anything I need to to impress my wife and to make her feel mm -hmm. happy. I you agree know with that. Because when he you, does like, not care. Like he, care. you know, like some guys like want to act all cool. No, no, and, no, no, he goes above and beyond to make me happy. Like he doesn't even care. Have a strong foundation with God in your marriage. When you are married and especially you have the right person that you're married to and your foundation is within God, then you get a lot of blessings 
with just being married, you know what I mean? When Omar and I, like, when we have an argument or a fight or whatever, we always make sure to pray, you know? We pray together, we pray separately, and we also pray even when we're not having an argument or fight. We pray to make sure that we treat each other good, treat each other well, but also become a better person for ourselves so that we can be better for our partners. And for the most so. Exactly. And then we also pray and ask God for guidance um, and help in um, making sure our marriage goes really well and that's healthy. When you're doing the work and you're also praying and you have God in your life and in your marriage, He'll somehow, you know, figure out a way to make things work. And that's exactly what's been happening in our marriage. When you have God in your life, you know, like I said, you're going to have a lot of blessings within your marriage and within your outside life as well. Mm -hmm. And he'll be able to guide you in the right way. Every time we pray, it like happens. things just immediately. immediately. To make sure that you know that everything that you do outside, it's going to come back in your marriage. Right? So like, for example, my personal opinion, my personal story, uh, a lot of the decisions that I made before I got married, when I was single, years and years before, and I didn't even fathom that this would happen for me, I was making certain decisions that I was proud of at that time. Uh, to people that I like, people that I didn't like, people that I came across in every way, shape, and form, all of those experiences, believe it or not, it wrapped up and it ended up right here in my wife. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of the decisions that I made, I am very absolutely thankful. I took the high road over a lot of money sometimes, a lot of opportunities, you know, things that a lot of people would do horrible things for. I saw that, I turned it down, but because I was able to do that, I was able to see what is most important. Because let me tell you something, when you do things the right way, it's gonna have to come back a later time. Because mm -hmm. let me tell you something, I never met an older person who doesn't believe in karma. Find the right person, you know what I mean? Because this this marriage is a lifelong journey, so you wanna make sure the, the right person you find that you're compatible with, you have a strong bond with, and you know, you are best friends with. The ones that I've noticed that are very close and they have a happy, oh, strong marriage, God. They either, yeah, they have God and also they're very close with they're one another. Close. They spend a lot of time together because what happens is definitely it's still good to have your own independent life for sure. Like, you know, there's certain different interests that we're not going to always be, you know, aligned with. And it's good to just have your own, you know, thing that you're doing as well. But you don't want to be too independent while you're in a marriage because that's going to cause like, you know, separation and like different lives, basically. We always do things together. We do a lot of things together. Like we cook together, we read together, Everything we watch we certain like movies together. We actually in like each other, right? Exactly. There's, there's a difference. Yeah, like there's a difference between like loving and liking the person. Yeah, right? you gotta you can, do both. You can still love somebody but not like them, right? So like you don't want to spend that much time. That's why there's people that like want to work all the time. And, and get away from their Yeah, spouse. exactly. Like avoid their spouse or you know what I mean? Like always want to be out with their friends and not that. Like, Find the right person, be their best friends, and enjoy spending a lot of time together because that's going to solidify your bond. Exactly. You know, if you have too many uh, separate things going on and too you're much seeing each other, it's going to mess it up. It's going to mess it yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. Lot. And also, just as kind of yeah, for sure, sure about it. Go ahead. So much, uh, like another thing, uh, I would advise for a lot of people to do: if you get into a relationship where you're getting married, you got to learn to like pull back from friends who are not on the same time as you, especially when you're trying to take your life seriously. Mm -hmm. So especially the young brothers out there or the older brothers out there, and you getting a wife when you get married, like kind of pull away from them female friends, bro, because that shit ain't, that's not what's happening. Mm -hmm. And it also pull away from any influences that you know is kind of like leading you away mm -hmm. from doing the right thing. You know, sometimes one little decision can lead to 35 years of failure and mm -hmm. And it's not worth it. It ain't worth it. It's really not worth Do it, right. you guys. Do right. Do right. Okay, so is it your turn? Yeah, your turn oh, yeah, is the turn. fourth, your fourth one now. Um, I would have to say that though my wife speaks very highly of me, I, I have a lot of things I needed to work on as well. That was something I learned as like from early on. Like she really helped me to really understand that there was a lot of parts about myself that I need to really understand and, and work on the change and I really took pride in that because it's how she spoke to me and that's another thing you should want to inspire your partner to, to change for the better self mm -hmm. you know, or towards their better self mm -hmm. right anyone who wants to better you you're going to have to change if you came in the room and you're looking crazy you're doing all types of crazy <laughs> stuff and somebody's trying to help you 
you know, you if you're taking it offensively, you're gonna stay there doing the same thing over and Definitely. over again. You know, and having the same life situation. But if you try to change, you're gonna have your life change and all the circumstances around it. And then you're gonna be thankful that you made that decision to, to see that change. So my wife really helped me with that, you know, because I, I'm not gonna lie to you, at certain points in time I really thought I was I was the best. <laughs> I am in certain ways, and there's a lot of ways I'm not. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play like mm -hmm. I am. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna pretend. Mm -hmm. And actually that goes with the next one I was gonna say. Marriage is like a mirror. It's like a mirror to your face. It's like sometimes like you know, you do a lot of you know self-development improvement while you're single, mm -hmm. and you feel like, yeah, you feel like you're such this amazing person, which he actually already is. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's sometimes like you don't really realize certain things about yourself that you have to work on mm -hmm. until a mirror is right into your this face. Is my mirror right here. And he's my mirror too. There's certain things where it's like, oh my god, I didn't, I didn't realize I gotta work on this, you know? Like even certain things that you didn't even realize about yourself, your partner will tell you. Put in the necessary effort to be better for one another um, because you have to consider your partner now. You can't just consider yourself anymore. Mm -hmm. It's not like how it was when you were single and you don't gotta answer to nobody and mm -hmm. you gotta do anything that what changes. you want. It's all, you gotta change your mindset into like exactly. this, is, this is teamwork. This is another person in my life that I actually have to, you know, mesh my life with together. So you know, listening to one another. Sometimes I think I'm doing the right thing for him and if I'm not listening effectively to what he's trying to tell me and I'm just doing what I feel like I should be doing, then that's not right either. Listen to your partner effectively. Mm -hmm. Listen to what they're telling you, what they want, what they don't want. And then also too, like listen to what they're saying about you too, something that you have to work on in yourself. If you take that as proper feedback, to better yourself and you actually listen to it and actually work on it like it's not going to be an overnight success but exactly. you know if you make those necessary steps to Together. get there and you know your partner's going to be there to support you along mm -hmm. the way i've grown so much Likewise. because of like actually listening cherish what you have uh what i mean by that is when i learned to really cherish my wife fully and even though that was already my, my main motivation, but when you actually sit down, think about it, and actually pray about it, and say, you know what, my wife is the greatest thing that ever happened to me in my entire life. I, mean, I had to pray for my wife for seven years, so mm -hmm. I really had to make sure that when I got her, I really took her very seriously mm -hmm. as I was supposed to. And furthermore, you know what I'm saying, like, because of that, it makes me take a lot of even the tiniest things or the tiniest details of our relationship it makes me take it even more seriously apologize quickly don't stay mad at each other for a long time yeah, yeah. actually it's funny because like i had to learn that like and it took me a while i'm still actually getting better because when i'm mad i need like time alone to like cool down a little bit and then we can go ahead and talk right but with Omar, like he wants to talk about it right away and he wants to resolve it right away. We have this thing where we try not to go to bed mad at each other. Like we want to like resolve our arguments um, right then and there so that it doesn't like prolong. If you can control your emotions, you're going to be so successful in every area in life. Yeah. So I do feel like the longer you're together and the more you actually work together, like the less fights you have. Like we barely, we don't really like fight like that. Like we'll have a little bit of arguments here and there. We will fight once. In a while, but like and the things we fight about yo it's so small so i really hope it was uh you know helpful if you guys have any other lessons you guys learn or any marriage advice for anybody or even for us as well we would love to hear them exactly. so keep yeah. them in the Different comments teacher. below and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching we really appreciate it so thank you guys so much we really appreciate all the love and support throughout the years and we'll see you guys in the next video 1000 god bless y'all bye love y'all